hippity hop it. Little 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 hippity hop it. Little 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 hippity hop it. A little a little hippity hop it. Well, suddenly. Thundercats Raw came out today, and I honestly expect there's going to be a lot of videos coming out soon saying This is the worst show ever, it sodomized my children and brought back One Direction And a lot of people have high expectations for this show Though most of those expectations are for it to be tremendously awful Maybe like two days from now there'll be a clownfish video calling it a sin to humanity or whatever overblown nonsense they want to say Some people are probably wondering what I think about it considering I've defended this show several times on this channel well, my original message was to give the show a chance, and while I feel two episodes usually isn't enough, this was a two-parter. So I think you should really give you a feel of the show and grab that initial interest with its premise. Take for example, a show that also came out today, The Owl House. The first episode got me interested from the start, and I want to see more of it. I feel compelled to support the show and keep watching. Thundercats Raw didn't really do that for me. I think what's really interesting about it is that by the end of it, I was completely satisfied. I don't need any more of this. At the same time, I'm not against the idea of more. It's this weird middle of the road thing and I think in the next week or so, whether it's from reviewers or people tweeting and talking about the show, there's gonna be a lot of people exaggerating how they feel about it. Not saying people won't be genuinely interested or aggravated by the show, but it feels like such an inoffensive thing that exists. A lot of people are going to be comparing it to Teen Titans Go and Powerpuff 2016 and I honestly think it's different to the both of them. Teen Titans Go succeeded as a satire on the original source material and played off the audience reception. You'll find a lot of reviewers these days saying, yeah I like Teen Titans Go. Powerpuff Girls 2016 failed because it was busy having an identity crisis. Sometimes it wanted to be its own thing, tackling deep issues, all with the grace of a 6 foot lumberjack trying to do the Macarena in roller skates, and other times it wanted to be like the old show. There wasn't enough focus. Thundercats Raw comes across as it trying to wholly be its own thing. It narrowly escapes the reboot trap of not establishing things properly, but the way it goes about that, just some super quick light-hearted exposition as they narrowly escape their dying planet, coupled with the rest of everything else, makes it feel like a parody you'd see on Newgrounds or something. Nothing really about it stuck out to me other than the fact that I didn't dislike it or like it. I think I had like one or two moments where I was like, hey I like that bit of animation, or that background looks nice. But other than that, that was kind of it. The only thing negative I really have to say is that the pacing was kind of off, and Lionel's dumbness felt kind of forced. Which sucks because a lot of stuff involving him revolves around the idea that he's dumb. But other than that, it's generally an inoffensive show. Like, I'm glad it exists, but I expected a little bit more. Like I said earlier, I expect a lot of channels to exaggerate how they feel about it. With reviewing, especially with titles and thumbnails, there's a lot of black and white presentation. Either it's the very teachings of Satan, or it's a beacon of hope. Thundercats Raw may become the next Teen Titans Go in terms of how it's received. There used to be a lot of hatred towards it, leading to a lot of amateur rant videos. Crap got a 91% of Rot Tomatoes. Are you critics high? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, I am now proudly presenting on my extreme rant on the worst show I have ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, it is I, the undeniable, the uncomfortable, the unstoppable, diabolical hater! Oh my god, I hate this show! <laughs> You would need two bottles of Sprite get for this garbage show. So, naturally, I am pissed the fuck off. Humanity has finally done it. 
They have finally done it, haven't they? Born Cartoon Network are the inbred offsprings of retarded company and executives who value profit and trends rather than art and long-lasting impact. You cocksucking motherfucking motherfucking asshole! Overall, it's just alright, not worth the inevitable outrage. Also, I'm probably just gonna title this video something dumb, like the truth behind Thundercats Raw. Hey all, just wanted to let you know that I'm planning to go to Momocon this year in May. It's a big trip for me, so I'm trying to raise some money. After my Steven Universe video comes out, I will be opening commissions again to save up, and I'll be putting a lot of my own money towards this. But my friends also suggested that I start a GoFundMe. Please don't feel obligated to donate, it is technically a leisure thing. As much as I would love to go and hang out with the rest of the community, you don't really have to do it. Anyway, I have a Twitter you can follow, I have a Discord you can join, and I also have the people who are better than me tab on the side of my channel, and that's pretty much it. Bye!